Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and I uh, put the premium link codes on my Patreon, and uh, I have a Discord if you want to join that. Check everything. It's all in the description. Um, we're doing a problem called Push Dominoes. It is a medium problem, lots, decent amount of likes. Um, it is very similar. I just did it. It's very similar to... Uh, we did a problem recently called, like, closest instance of a character. So you look through a character and you find the closest version. You know, if you're looking for, if you get passed in an E, you're looking for the closest E to you. Maybe it's on the left or right side of the array, but, um, yeah, it was, like, closest distance, returning distance from character or something. It's the same thing here. Um, so in that one, you did a left-to-right scan where you calculated the distance from left to right positions, and then you did a right to left scan, and you took the minimum. It was like minimum distance to character. Um, in this one, we're doing literally the same thing almost, except we're calculating like a net force. It's not a minimum this time, It's a, and we're dealing with forces. So we'll get into it. Um, there are n dominoes in a line. We place them up. They're all vertical. So it's just like you stack, you put some dominoes on a table. In the beginning, we simultaneously push some of the dominoes either to the left or right. So randomly, we have some dominoes. They're getting pushed to the left or right. Uh, after each second, dominoes falling to the left push the adjacent dominoes to the left down. Right dominoes push the adjacent dominoes to the right down, just like in regular dominoes. So if this domino is falling, it's going to knock down the one to the left. If this one's falling to the right, it's going to knock down one to the right. When a vertical domino has dominoes falling on it from both sides, it stays still due to the balance of the forces. So that's why we're dealing with forces here. And a balance of the forces is why we're dealing with net forces. So you have a middle one right here. This one is getting pushed to the right at the same time that this one's getting pushed to the left. They all get pushed at the same time. So this one knocks down this one, this one knocks down this one, and they all lean on this one, and it ends up just standing upright. Some of them don't even get pushed at all, right? So this one goes to the left, but nothing's going on, and, uh, you know? So, for the, addition, for the purpose of the question, we will consider that a falling domino expands no additional force to a falling or already fallen domino. Okay, sure. Given a string S representing an initial state, S of I is equal to L if the ith domino has been pushed to the left, S of I is equal to R if the right do ith domino has been pushed to the right, S of I is equal to period if the domino has not been pushed. Return the final state as a string. Okay. So we're given a string, L means it's getting pushed to the left, R is pushed to the right, and period is just standing up straight. Okay, so this is just a representation of that picture above. So L pushes this period, so it's LL, uh, nothing happens to this one, R gets pushed to the right, so it hits this one, but at the same time the L gets pushed to the left, pushes this one. You know, we just went through it, but we're returning the string. So how do we do this? Obviously we have to loop through the string. So we're going to have to get like a char, let, let's get a char array to loop through. So we're going to do uh, char array dominoes is equal to uh, dominoes dot two char array. Um, and we're also going to need a string builder because we're going to build a string at the end and return it, right? String builder result is equal to new string builder. That's just intuitive of what we need our tools to solve this problem, right? And we're going to return result.toString after we build it. Okay. But what is the strategy for solving this problem? Well, we have to loop through the characters as well. So let's set that up. Okay. Well, let's just go through. Actually, let's do the strategy. We're going to do the same thing as the distance one with the character one, minimum distance character, but we're going to go from left to right and we're going to calculate all of the forces of the following right dominoes. And then we're going to go right to left. And we're going to calculate all the forces of the following left dominoes. We're going to, you know, add them onto an array at each index. So whatever force, it, you know, whatever the net force is here, we're going to have an array that represents it. And if it's positive, then that means it's going to fall to the right. If it's negative, it's going to fall to the left. Um, and if it's zero, it's just going to keep standing upright. That's it. So it's literally, you just construct an array of forces. So let's just do it and you'll probably get it on the way. So we're going to grab the length of this as well. Um, dominoes.length. We'll just get that. So for I equals zero, I less than dominoes 
Dominoes dot. Sorry, well, we already have N. My bad, my bad. I plus plus. Um, we're going to get our forces array. We'll initialize that. So we'll say int array of forces is equal to new int. Uh, new int of N. Yes, yeah, sir. I don't know. I'm having issues. Okay. So we're going to, let's just initialize our force to zero. That's what we do because the force is zero at this point. We haven't looped or anything. So we're just, we're starting at a solid zero force. As we loop from left to right, we're only going to account for the following right dominoes. And when we go from right to left, we'll account for left dominoes. Makes sense, right? Um, so we're going to do, okay, if dominoes, dominoes of I is equal to the right character, force is equal to N. And that's because, think of this scenario. They don't go over this in the example. But in this scenario, it's not going to just be, this isn't the answer. This isn't what we're returning. It doesn't just knock down one uh, domino to the right it knocks down every single domino to the right. So this is what we'd get instead. Um, so we have to, it knocks down N dominoes. It can knock down every domino in the string. So we set the force to N because it can knock down N. Um, else if dominoes of I is equal to L, we're not accounting for these at the moment. So we're just gonna leave it be. We're gonna say, okay, force is equal to zero. Um, else, what we're going to do is we're going to say force is equal to this means that it's a period so this means that it was just standing upright so if n is if we saw an r a few dominoes ago and the force is still we're going to have to decrement the force each time so we're going to say force minus one because each domino that it hits the force will become less it can only knock down every domino on the string so it'll become less because when we see a left when we go through from right to left and we scan from right to left we have to be decrementing these forces so that the net forces add up properly if that makes sense so we'll take the math.max of this is the balanced domino value so zero uh versus just force minus one meaning that you know maybe we saw a few dominoes ago a right and we still have force left over the force is getting you know staying the same through each loop so it's going to stay consistent while we update it and what we're going to do is we're going to set forces of i we're going to increment it by force right so it's staying positive throughout this loop and we're going to add on whatever force we're seeing so if we see a right it's going to be the it, for the first domino if we saw a right it would be you know n would be added on to this index that would be the force and then you know n minus one n minus two until we saw then we see lefts later coming in and maybe the forces balance out but you have to be decrementing it um, so that the net forces work out with the left and right and they add together properly. So when we go from right to left now, we'll reset our force to zero. We're going to be looping backwards. Let me know if this doesn't make sense. I think I'm explaining it, uh, doing a good job, but it's a little difficult to explain. I mean, watch the distant, min distance character if you're a little confused. So now we're going from right to left. So what we're looking for now is we're going to decrement the forces. This is net force, so left ones are going to count as negative values, right ones are positive values. So what do we do? It's going to be literally pretty similar, so let's just set it up. Um, we're looking for left dominoes now, and we're going to say, okay, force is equal to n, but what we're going to do is we're going to say minus equals force. So it's literally the same thing, same power force, left and right of the same power of force, if you see a left and at the end of a string and it was all no lefts until then, it would knock down the whole string, same as the right. Um, so we subtract the forces, and since we decrement each time, just like how we decrement up here, when the rights and lefts are far away, the net forces will, it'll work out so that um, we could tell whether we need to keep one balanced or not. If a left is a farther distance away than a right, the force will be more powerful, meaning it will be, you know... Uh, positive force instead of a zero so now all we have to do down here with our string builder i hope this makes sense i think it makes like i think i'm explaining it pretty well um now all we have to do is for integer f in forces the forces array we built it out with the net forces and now we just want to check the force so okay if force is positive so if it's greater than zero well, then that means the net force was positive so we'll append an r to our final string so we'll append character r onto our string builder okay else if 
force is negative, we have to append a left because the net force was negative, meaning we saw a left for, you know, more recently. Okay. Then a uh, right. Or, so, you know, the left was closer, so it gets knocked down. It's just how it works. And then if it's balanced, then we leave it staying upright. So that's it. I mean, it's, I think the logic is easy. I think it's just a decent amount of code and you could get a little bit confused by the code. I think the concept's pretty straightforward and uh, I like this problem. So that should be it. You return the string builder. Um, what do we have? Domino's already defined. Yeah, I figure that might be a problem. That sucks. Can we just change this to a uh, string? <laughs> you know that would really save some time no why n minus one why all right sorry guys i had to edit that see here's the problem i didn't put r here because i copied and pasted above and i'm you know made a mistake everyone makes mistakes my bad but yeah so um i think i explained it pretty well just uh calculate the net forces then go through at the end and it the math works out so that if it's positive it'll be right if it's negative it'll be left if it's zero it'll be a period and there you go um let me know if you guys have any questions about this uh and thank you guys for watching really appreciate it so uh yeah i mean i'm just gonna do some more right now so i'll see you guys in the next one